evening, homebrewers and beer fans. Ashley here from sexandbrewing.com. So tonight, what am I doing? I'm making a one gallon batch of beer. Um, this isn't really gonna be so much about the beer. I I'm just gonna try and demystify uh, just sort of what, uh, how simple home brewing is really. Uh, this isn't gonna be an instructional video. This isn't like a step-by-step. -step. This is just sort of, uh, just a quick overview for those of you who don't brew, who are sort of interested in getting into the hobby, just sort of like what you sort of need to get started. So, um, ingredient wise, so I am making uh, an IPA tonight. Um, and this is a brand new recipe. That's why I'm doing it on, on, uh, on my one gallon batch setup. Um, recipe wise, got uh, two pounds here of uh, two row. Um, I got a little bit of Munich 10 and then a little bit here of uh, Crystal 30 just for some color. Um, hops uh, using uh, some Magnum for bittering, 60 minute editions. And then I got 30 minute, 15 minute, 5 minute and flame out editions of Idaho 7. I've never used Idaho 7 before so I'm pretty excited to do that. So what do you need to do a one gallon batch on yourself? Well, let me just run through a few of the necessities I, that you need and then maybe a few of the, the great to have. So, obvious, first thing you need, just a big pot. It doesn't even have to be this big. Um, this, 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 I think, can hold four gallons. I'm only going to use two gallons worth of water. So, uh, just a big pot. Everyone's got a big soup pot in their, uh, in their pantry somewhere, right? Uh, one gallon jug. These work great. They're not overly expensive. I think you can get these for under $10 um, Canadian uh, at your local homebrew supply shop. You can hit up Kijiji. They're always up there as well. Um, now, when I first started doing my, my uh, homebrew batches, I didn't use this. I just sort of winged it, but this is a, hydro a hydrometer and, fl and flask. This is for taking your gravity readings. Uh, so you, you'll be taking readings throughout original gravity, final gravity, and that was just post-fermentation. Um, but when I started, my, my first like year and a half, I didn't even use one of these. I uh, didn't really know how strong of, of a beer I was drinking. Um, I was just trying to make tasty beer. So there we go. Must have, star sand. Uh, this is a must have. This is a sanitary agent. This is what keeps this clean. Everything that touches the beer post boil has to be 110% sanitized. So using this, using the instructions on the back and then a big bucket just to keep well, stuff in it or just to keep the things that you need sanitized in it is very helpful. But this is a must have. Uh, every home brewer should be using this. If they don't, they should. Um, another piece you'll need is a three-piece airlock. Um, these have never failed me. Um, they work very well, um, and they're pretty damn cheap. I think under two dollars. Um, so this is going to get attached to the carboy, and I'll let all the CO2 out without allowing anything in. Um, so those I think are pretty much the need need to haves. Um, also like to use a funnel again this is something that you'd want to keep sanitized um, this is a very just makes transferring from the from the boil pot into the uh, carboy very easy um, also what's a nice to have but you don't need it is a um a cooler uh, this is a uh oh, <laughs> the words escaping me at the moment but this is what you would need to use to uh, cool the work down after your uh, oils uh, after the boil is done um, what I what I used for the longest time were just uh, water bottle like frozen water bottles or I also just made up a big batches of ice beforehand because uh, after you're done uh, boiling the wort, you're going to want to get it down to a temperature uh, suitable for the yeast so um, other than that another nice to have a digital thermometer uh, you can also buy the glass ones are probably a little bit cheaper but I broke a lot I probably went through about six six of these glass thermometers uh, they work very well but I mean it's a digital age get digital um, and another thing uh, again nice to have but you don't need to for brewing one gallon or any gallon batches it's just workflow tablets this is just uh, this helps pull pro um, clarifies your beer essentially uh, added to the boil helps all the proteins coagulate and drop down to the bottom anyways but really if if you're not if you're not a stickler for clear beer then you don't really need this but whatever and oh, one last thing too, 
So I'm doing what's called a uh, brew in a bag method. So nylon uh, nylon bags. Uh, I got these at my uh, local paint shop. They're super cheap. They're like a few bucks a piece. You can reuse them, rewash them. Um, I'm going to be using one for the grains because essentially I'm just going to crush these grains up. I'm going to put them in the bag and I'm going to let them soak in the water for an hour. Blah, blah, blah. And then this is, I'm going to use the second one. Um, I'm going to attach this actually to my brew kettle while it's boiling uh, and I'm going to put the hops into here. Uh, it's one, uh, it just uh, helps clarify the beer and reduces the amount of trout that gets transferred into the uh, fermenter afterwards. Anyways, it's just one of those things. It's, uh, uh, you don't have to do it. You can just literally throw the hops right, right in right into the pot or I just prefer to take just to put them into this bag because uh, when I'm done boiling I can just take the bag out and there's very little to no hop, uh, hops left in there so anyways that's it uh, not much to it but I, I know that you know a lot of people don't get into this hobby right off the bat because I think they need all this crazy equipment which you really don't I think it, the, the majority of the stuff that uh, you'll need, you, you probably already have in your kitchen. You really just need to get the ingredients and just find some time to go brew. So there it is. Um, yeah, so th this beer, uh, we're gonna brew this up tonight and hopefully within uh, a month, we'll be doing a tasting on it. So look out for that. Anyways, you guys have yourselves a good night and we shall see you later. Cheers.